Hello and welcome to another episode of Rising from the Ashes. If you have completed 3 weeks of quitting smoking, congratulations. This is a major milestone. Almost all of your physical symptoms should have gone away and your mental battle should also be getting easier. This video will touch upon a critical topic which will help you ensure that you don't relapse after all the hard work you've done and ensure that you stay permanently quit. If you're new to this channel and you've just started your quitting smoking journey, I would highly recommend to go through all the videos in the playlist Quit Smoking Cold Turkey. This will provide a day-by-day -day view of the challenges you will face while quitting smoking and will act as a guide as you go through your quitting smoking journey. Today, we are going to focus on that topic which is going to help us quit permanently, which is the concept of extinguishing cues. In order to understand what cues are and how they originate, we need to understand the concept of conscious mind and unconscious mind. Our mind is basically divided into two parts, with the conscious mind being that part of our mind which we use deliberately, thoughtfully and with full awareness. For example, we use our conscious mind to solve problems or write essays or make calculations to do things which are uh, deliberate, thoughtful and requires our full attention. There is also another part of our mind which is called the unconscious mind which is basically the reservoir of all our past memories, all our past experiences uh, and all the things which make us what we are today. It is our unconscious mind which provides first reactions or impulses when we are faced with situations or people. For example, when you're walking on a dark street and you feel scared or when you meet somebody new and like or dislike them instantly, all of these come from the unconscious mind and we don't really know or understand why these reactions came about the way it did. Now, how is this related to quitting smoking, you ask? So far, we have been dealing with the challenge of quitting smoking, uh, mainly dealing with our cravings, etc. With our conscious mind, which is paying attention to the craving, uh, looking up how much time it takes for the craving to go away, and knowing that this, this craving is temporary. And so far, it has also been straightforward because most of our reactions came from a lack of nicotine in our body, which is much more physical, which we could recognize and combat. After three weeks of quitting smoking, this part of our brain, uh, which is craving nicotine due to the absence of nicotine, uh, is more or less being combated. And we have kind of crossed this stage successfully. However, now we are entering a much more dangerous territory where our unconscious mind can make us uh, react to certain situations and pick up smoking almost by accident. Now, a lot of our urges to smoke comes from our unconscious reaction to certain events, people, or locations. These are what I call as cues. And we get these cues because over many, many years, we have trained our unconscious mind to expect nicotine in circum certain circumstances. For example, for me, it was uh, when I went on a train and got out of the train, uh, I used to get a strong urge to smoke even two, three months after I'd quit smoking. Or when I went and had a really nice lunch meal in a restaurant. Or I think this is a scenario which a lot of us might face is if we go out with friends to have a drink or something, uh, even one or two months after quitting smoking, I used to face strong urges at this time. And these are basically a function of what we have taught our mind over the last 10, 15 years on when to expect smokes. This is much more unconscious, this is much more mental, and this is not that physical. So it has to be combated in a mental way. All of these cues are very dangerous. Uh, a, because uh, we've stopped smoking for a while now, and we might let our guard down and become complacent. Uh, and secondly, uh, this comes in such a subtle manner that we'll end up smoking and not even realize it. So we have to be very careful and always be on the guard for these kind of cues. We are going to extinguish these cues using two methods. First, <clears throat> we are going to deliberately go and seek out those experiences or events which we've been avoiding so far, scared that we might relapse into smoking. For example, we should now go and hang out with our friends who are smoking in front of us. Or we should go to a bar with friends and, you know, not smoke. If you've not visited your friends or if you've not gone to a pub or if you've <clears throat> not uh, gone to the smoking section of your office, it is a time to go now, but consciously knowing that you're going to these places in order to extinguish the cue of smoking associated with these places. If it gets too difficult, stop, come back, 
and make sure to pre-inform your friends that you're doing this as an experiment and that you might walk away suddenly if the urge to smoke gets overwhelming. Like this, think about all of those uh, situations where you think you will get a strong unconscious cue to smoking. It could be a particular coffee shop. It could be uh, a particular location and it could be a particular time of the day. Uh, consciously seek these out and extinguish your smoking related cues. Now, this will help where we can go and actively participate in these uh, events and extinguish our cues. Uh, but there are many, many, uh, many events or circumstances which we will not be able to consciously uh, extinguish. Cool. For example, we will not be able to recreate being tired and drowsy and cranky. Or we will not be able to recreate or maybe we don't want to recreate uh, a, an argument with our partner, for example. So in those situations, uh, the key is to be, uh, you know, ABC, always be careful. Uh, and whenever you have a smoking related cue, stop, be mindful and understand what is the, uh, you know, the underlying root cause, which is causing your smoking related cue. You would usually find when you try to find the root cause that this was historically one of those events or locations where you would go and start smoking. This way, you will slowly start identifying and extinguishing all the cues associated with smoking. Unlike the last three weeks where we've made rapid progress, this process will be slightly more slower. You will continue to have one or two of these cues every day for at least two to three months. Uh, but in process of uh, being mindful and identifying and extingu extinguishing these cues, you will build muscle memory of not smoking in tough circumstances and come out of this much stronger. Once you have extinguished most or bulk of your cues, you have officially quit smoking. In the next episode, we'll talk about how not to relapse after you've quit smoking for a few months and keep this quit smoking journey going. So good luck on the journey. And please mention in the comments, what are the common cues you're facing and how you're extinguishing them. If you find the content useful, please subscribe and share with your friends who you think might need it. This will definitely help the channel. You've been watching Rising from the Ashes. Thank you and good luck on your quit smoking journey.